Hi everybody, this is Leanne Lord, the creator of VeryFunnyLady.com. Some of you might know me as a stand-up comedian, author, keynote speaker, and Star Talk Radio with Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, the holidays are here, and that means some of you might be spending a lot of time with family, with people that you love and can marginally tolerate. And just because you have shared DNA, that doesn't mean that you have shared political opinions. So that can lead to some heated arguments about politics, about who's right and who's wrong. Well, you're right and they're wrong. But if you want to do something a little different this year, I have a list of six things that you can argue about instead of politics. The first is money. When people come over to the house for dinner, be sure to collect a cover charge at the door from everybody who didn't bring a dish. And make it easy. Use a square. Also, ask to borrow money from someone you've already borrowed from but have yet to pay back. Make no mention of the previous monies owed. The second thing you can fight about is weight. If someone's gained weight since last year, mention it as dinner is being served. If someone has lost weight and they look great, say nothing. The third thing that you can fight about is love. If someone is single, be sure to ask when they're getting married. If someone is married, be shocked it's lasted this long. If someone's divorced, ask lots of questions about their ex. Be sure to mention how much you like and miss them and wonder aloud whether or not they should have been invited to dinner. The fourth thing to argue about, sex and gender. If you're gay, go on ahead and out a heterosexual family member. Be sure to mock their chosen lifestyle and say there was always something a little different about them and that you'll pray for them. Well, for bonus points, uh, question the gender identity of the turkey. The fifth thing to argue about? Religion. When it's time to say grace, turn it into a religious filibuster. Like, just keep talking. Use any and all prayers except the ones from the religion that your family follows. If you're an atheist, be sure to transition with, oh, here's another funny one. You'll know you've done well when someone has to reheat the gravy. The sixth thing to argue about? tradition. Like instead of asking the oldest family member, ask the youngest family member to carve the turkey, no matter how young they are. Like what's more exciting than a knife-wielding toddler? Or you can ask the vegetarian to do it. Every family has one. They're usually the ones skulking and sulking around the salad. If all else fails, go on ahead and argue about politics, but really do it. Like, make sure you talk about somebody's mama, like, even if you have the same one. You know, just let it descend into chaos, like an all-out food fight. And then at the end of it, come together as a family and help clean up. Because the person who would normally do it has probably been deported. Happy Holidays.